Hello everybody, this is Cap here, and I'd like to welcome you to the 11th video in my C++ Containers series. In this video, we are actually going to be talking about iterators. Because in the upcoming videos, I'm going to be going over uh, containers that rely quite heavily on iterators. So, there are five different categories of iterators. They're output, input, forward, bidirectional, and random access. But today we are only going, only going to be talking about bidirectional and random access because those are the iterators that uh, containers deal with. So iterators are objects that can iterate over the elements of a container and are also sometimes described as a generalization of pointers. Bidirectional iterators are able to iterate forward and backwards uh, by using increment and decrement operators and they are used with lists, sets, multi-sets, maps, and multi-maps. Random access iterators have the properties of bidirectional iterators plus they can perform uh, random access and you can use them you know with by subtracting or adding offsets or anything like that and they're used with vectors, decks, and strings. So, as you can see, I've created uh, three containers, a vector, a deck, and a list. So let's say we wanted to create functions that print out these containers, print out the contents of these containers. Well, I could say void print container And for the vector, we can say int vect. Okay, and you know we can do our classic you know, for loop. And we just say C out vect I and L. Also, uh, if you guys later on, I'm going to be getting into some template stuff. So if you guys haven't watched my video on uh, function templates, I would go ahead and watch it. If you don't quite get the next few examples so I just figured I'd throw that out there so let's save it and we'll actually go down here and call it of course we want print container and we can pass in the vec save it and run it and as you can see it worked just like we would want it to. But the issue here is if we did it like this, we would have to create a different function for each container. And that wouldn't be very efficient. So in instead, I guess you guys might be saying, or those of you who have seen my templates video or know of templates, you might be saying, well, Cap, we could just make a template here. Which you would be right. We could say template type name. Whoops. Container. And then come down here and say container. And that should work there. Yep. And now we could also pass in print container our deck. Let's save it, run it. And as you can see, it works for both of them. But there is still an issue here. As you notice, I didn't use it for list. Because if we were to say print container and pass in our list, it doesn't flag it here, but when we run it, it won't run. And that is because you cannot 
use an index or access list elements through index. So now we have another issue. And this is where iterators come in. So we can use iterators, like I said, to iterate over elements of containers. And this really helps us write generic code because we are interfacing with iterators instead of the actual containers. And iterators have you know, a common interface. We can increment them with plus plus or decrement them with minus minus. And we can get the values by dereferencing them. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So let's erase these come up here I'm going to change this though the name doesn't really matter I'm going to change this to iterator just to be a little more specific and um, yeah that'll work so I'm going to say iterator begin and I'm also going to say iterator end and we're going to get rid of this and we're actually going to put in a while loop say so while begin is less than end I'm going to say say out dereference begin to get the value and then I'm going to say begin plus plus. So now we are going to pass in a beginning iterator and an ending iterator. So we're going to pass in an iterator that points to the beginning of a container and an iterator that points to the end of a container. And then we are going to move the beginning iterator along the container until we reach and print out, you know, all of the underlying elements until we get to the end iterator. And those of you that have been following along with this series may have done some, you know, investigating of vectors and decks and realized that they have a begin function and an end function. And what the begin and end function do are actually return an iterator to the beginning and end of the container. So we can actually just come down here and say print container vec.begin vec.end print container Begin. Okay, so we save this and run it. For some reason, it didn't print that out. Let's see here. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, it's the simple things, guys. It's always the simple things. I actually put begin twice here, which most of you probably noticed that. Okay, so now, let's save it and run it. And as you can see, it worked for both of those. But if you'll notice, again, I did not use it with list. Because you print container. So list.begin. Dot end. It doesn't flag it here, but if I try to run it, it won't run. And that is because, as I said before, we are dealing with bidirectional and random access iterators. And one of the differences between bidirectional and random access iterators is that the random access iterators support 
the less than and greater than operators, but the bidirectional iterators do not. So this is what's causing our code to fail. So if we just say, change that to not equal to, which is supported by both random access and bidirectional iterators, it should work now. If we come back down here and should just left that there actually. Okay, so now if we run this, it should work. And as you can see, it did. So now we have created a function using templates and iterators that can print out you know, really any container that we would want. And the reason that we're still using a template here is because there's not just you know one iterator. Every container has its own iterators. So vector has its own iterators, dex has its own iterators, and lists have their own iterators. So if we weren't using a template here and we wanted to use, you know, say a vector, an iterator on this vector, we would have to say vector iterator. Oh, hang on. Int iterator. It like that. And we have to do the same thing with deck and list because each container has its own iterators. But since the iterators have, you know, the common interface, we can use them in a template like this to create very generic code that can be used with a lot of containers. And you'll see this used a lot with C++ algorithms. Like if you guys look up, you know, sort algorithms and, you know, pretty much any other algorithms used with containers, more than likely you'll see that they use this strategy. So that's you know really all I wanted to go over in this video. Uh, if you like this video, please let me know by hitting the like button. If you've seen a few of my videos and really like them, you can go ahead and subscribe so you can see when I post new ones. And I would like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.